Hello, my name is Monica Price, Chief of Education for the City of Cleveland. And as an educational leader in our community, our collective work entails building upon, expanding, and strengthening the education continuum we have in place with the Cleveland Plan, our blueprint for education reform, preferably our high quality universal preschool, the Higher Education Compact, our Transformation Alliance, and most recently, Say Yes to Education, which are all critical to Cleveland's future workforce and economy. However, it's not enough. I want you to think about a baby, that very young infant you've seen in a parent or caregiver's arms, in the grocery store, or in a stroller on the street. Now, I want you to take a journey with me into the mind of that young child. You know, we've learned a great deal that there is a critical period from birth until about three years old when a child's brain is rapidly developing. And so let's think about what we can do to ensure that our youngest children get the strongest start prepared to go to school in just a few short years. And today, we're going to hear about some programs in our Cleveland community that are working. We'll learn what parents and caregivers can do and why it's so important and how we can get this message to our families and caregivers. So today, I'm delighted to have with us Lynn Foran, coordinator of Reach Out and Read, and Bob Pepinetti, president of the Literacy Cooperative. And through his organization, he spearheads the Imagination Library Program. So they are here today to talk to us about these two successful programs that focus on the child's developmental years from birth to three years old. So Lynn, let's start with you. We're gonna hear about Reach Out and Read. Tell us what it is, how it works, and what makes this model so effective? Well, thank you, Monica. I appreciate the opportunity to talk about Reach Out and Read. Um, our mission is to promote a love of books and reading among children and families in the Cleveland area. And how we do this is we work through doctors and nurses in the pediatric clinics and the family practice clinics to get them books and to have them incorporate a literacy message into their well child visit. Mm -hmm. So because we know that ch young children, parents, parents take young children to the doctor mm -hmm. often when they're young. Yes. I mean, start two weeks, two months, four months, six months, nine months, 12 months on to five years old. Mm -hmm. And we found that 90% of children are seen by a primary care doctor. Um, at least once a year through that time. So we know that if we can, while the f parents are there, we can communicate a message about the importance of sharing a book, reading a book with their child, it's going to help them. And, and so this is a great avenue to get that information to parents. So you talk about sharing books, reading books. So I, I'm assuming we're also talking about reading aloud to children. And so talk to me about why that is so important and when should a parent or caregiver begin reading aloud to his or her child? Yeah, well, right from birth. Mm -hmm. I mean, and really you could go back and in the womb, a mother mm -hmm. or a father can be reading and talking to the baby because the child's hearing the voices. But really right from birth, um, babies love to see, they want to see faces and they, they know who loves them. And mm -hmm. so having that right from birth um, is, is really critical time because unlike any other organ in our body, when we are born, our brain is not fully developed. Right. So it's really, it's waiting for things to happen mm -hmm. around it to expand and to make connections mm -hmm. that are then going to uh, you know, build that foundation that a child needs when it's time to go to school and start mm -hmm. to learn. And uh, in a book, is different. It's great to sing and talk and play with a child. Mm -hmm. All those things are so important. But that a book 
when you read a book with a child, you're using different words. You might be saying things differently, and all those are different ways to connect with that child and that child's brain. And you are correct. That is so important. And so how do parents and caregivers know which books they should read aloud to their children? Yeah, well, at first, you're just getting books that you like to read mm. because they're, you know, they don't know yet either. But mm -hmm. as they get older, you just really want to follow their lead. Mm. So um, look for things that they're interested in and see what, what you know, gets them really wanting to stay and, and look at the book mm -hmm. with you. Um, the, the board books, these you know, chunky, heavier books are great for little ones because their fingers aren't ready to really, you know, turn fine pages. Mm -hmm. Babies love to see themselves, so starting off with these very young board books is great. And all the colors and the brightness of that is great. And then um, just really, uh, like I said, follow their lead. And then if they really like princesses, go that route. If they're really into trucks, you know, just take them to the library and explore. Um, toddlers love, uh, it's good for toddlers to, they like songs and rhyming things, and they'll start to learn those too. Right. So finding books that way that, that they can help sing along with you, and, and, and you make it a fun and joyful time. Mm -hmm. So you talk about, so uh, essentially following their lead, finding mm -hmm. out what they're interested in, and, and going from there. Right. So you've also spoken about having young children choose their books. Mm -hmm. And that's a way of, of them choosing their books. And so, but you also talk about when they're older, they can also make predictions about what the book might be about. Are there any special ways or things that parents or caregivers should do um, to help their children when they are reading aloud? And also, what do they need to know in order to do it well? Mm -hmm. Well, it's really, um, you know, when babies are little, it's, it's hearing your voice and, and seeing your face and, and spending that time with them. Um, and then as they get older, you're just, you're helping them open up their world. So mm -hmm. especially a preschooler, they will, they'll start to know the story. Um, but you can also ask them, so what's going to happen next? Mm. And see what they Predictions. say. Predict, right. Mm -hmm. Or make up a story mm -hmm. just out of the pictures. I mean, right. reading, reading a book is really sharing a book. Mm. It doesn't, you don't have to read every word mm -hmm. in it. Just really explore the pictures, mm -hmm. get the concepts, because a child, a small child, has a very short attention span. Mm -hmm. So you want it, and you want to make it a fun time for them and right. not a chore. And you know what, as you were speaking, I was also thinking about bonding time, family mm -hmm. coming together around reading right. and modeling that good, good behavior for the child's future. Mm -hmm. And so, but Lynn, I often hear about some parents and caregivers say their children are just not interested in reading. What would you say to them about that? Yeah, well, you know, that, that is often the, the kids are busy and wanting mm -hmm. to do other things. So I would just um, think about trying to make it fun for them. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's they're a very physical child, so act out the story. Mm -hmm. they, if they've heard the book before, they know the story, make up a story mm -hmm. um, and use some of the pictures that you have. Um, singing playing, making funny sounds, mm -hmm. just anything, whatever. I mean, every child's unique and different mm -hmm. in their way. Mm -hmm. So you have to find that, that special thing with them that they want to do. That really sparks them. Right, right, right. And just, like I said, follow their lead. Mm -hmm. yeah. it, well, that does sound like fun. So tell me, how can a parent or a caregiver get connected with Reach Out and Read? And talk to me about how many sites there are and how many books you gave out in the past year. Right, well, um, they, we're all over the Cleveland area, mm -hmm. so many parents might already be connected through their, uh, their health center mm -hmm. with Reach Out and Read. Um, if they're getting a book during those well child visits, not necessarily when they're sick, but when they're mm -hmm. coming in in that planned visit, that's when this kind of uh, time of of conversation with the doctor happens. And the doctor also uses it to um, understand developmentally what's going on with the child and help the parent understand what's going on and what else they can do. Mm -hmm. We're in 30 
clinics in the Cleveland area. We're in at the new Rainbow Center um, for women and children. We're at Metro Health locations, Cleveland Clinic locations, neighborhood family practice, mm -hmm. neon sites, um, as well as some, some private practice mm -hmm. clinics. So, but we're not everywhere yet, and yes. we want to be. Mm -hmm. So um, if it's not going on in, in the office that a family is going to, um, I'd ask them to ask their, their pediatrician about it. Mm -hmm. And if they don't know, um, to find out more about us. Um, last year, we gave helped offices give out 28,000 oh brand new age-appropriate books. I mean, beautiful books. That like, the, Right. And, and we often hear that for some, especially with very young children, it's the first book they've I was had. Just going to say. Not right. only is it their first book, it starts to build that library within right. the home, which right. is critical right. with, with that birth to three years old developmental learning. And right. That. Yeah. Having the books in the home and then helping them see to go to the library and mm -hmm. explore more books mm -hmm. because it's, we know in right. our libraries, our right. beautiful libraries, there's right. thousands of books mm -hmm. to choose mm -hmm. from. Yeah. And so, what if someone wants to volunteer? Like perhaps uh, someone doesn't have a child, but they love the Reach Out and Read program and they want to be a part of it. How do they get involved? Yeah, well, um, in a, many waiting areas that mm -hmm. we have in the clinics, there's an opportunity to read with the children mm -hmm. and the families. So um, through, I can help connect a volunteer mm -hmm. into the the health systems where we have that going on mm -hmm. um, and the families just love it. I've, I've been in a clinic before and witnessed a, a little boy running in when he saw the the volunteer there Is to read right? the yeah, yeah. The, the book ladies <laughs> here and, and running up to hear that story and uh, the volunteers love it too because they have a chance to talk with families and, and share that message mm -hmm. just while you're waiting um, about the importance of reading and kind of what to do with the child at that certain, mm -hmm. at that age that they are. Yeah. Yeah. So Lynn, you talked uh, just a little bit uh, previously. Um, there are viewers watching this today who may not have this Reach Out and Read in their pediatric facility or their family practice clinic. Mm -hmm. um, and so what about those who want to start this in their facility? How can they do that? Right, so they can get in touch with me. Mm -hmm. I'm uh, the coordinator for mm -hmm. the area mm -hmm. and or go to our website. So um, that is uh, reach out and read, all spelled out, mm -hmm. GC for Greater Cleveland dot org. So okay. reach out and read GC dot org okay. and they can find out more about um, how to you know what's involved mm -hmm. but it really is I, I get in contact with them right away and we look at get we, we have online training mm -hmm. for the pediatricians mm -hmm. and the staff to help them figure out how to put this into their practice okay. that they're doing and uh, and we look at the book needs and and what they need to get started. So okay. it's, it's pretty much getting in touch with me. And there okay, we go. in an effort to have more of our children and families reading. Mm -hmm. Okay, great, Lynn, thank you so much. That is a wealth of information. And I can see why incorporating that reach out and read model, which is that early literacy message into the medical environment is so, so effective because our young families, our children, not only are they going to visit the pediatrician, they go often. Mm -hmm. So perhaps the more they go, the more books they get, and the more reading they will do. Right. Great. Right. Thank you very much. Thanks, Monica. So let us turn to Bob Pepinetti with the Literacy Cooperative, and let's talk about another successful program in our community. So Bob, yes. what is this Imagination Library program I've been hearing about, and how does it work? It is an awesome program. You know, we're talking about the importance here this morning of books and reading and talking, mm -hmm. parents with their children. Mm -hmm. In this program, Imagination Library, a family who has a child under the age of five mm -hmm. gets a brand new book in the mail every month wow. until that child is five years old. Every month, and you know what? It's free. The, wow. the family pays nothing mm -hmm. for these books. These are very high quality mm -hmm. books that come right to their home. Mm -hmm. And they come based on the age of the child. So when they're very young, when the child is very young, they're gonna get these board the books. Baby, yeah. And they're just beautiful books, high mm -hmm. quality. And as the child ages, mm -hmm. they get older books like, I love my mommy because. Aww. And this one is bilingual. 
So oh, it's, nice. it's wonderful nice. so that the child also is exposed to other languages, right. which is important. Right. In fact, I heard a family say they had never gotten a bilingual book before. Now that they're getting them, they like them, and they're going to the library right. to get more. That's important as for the, our uh, citizens in our community. Uh, absolutely. Yes. And as the child continues the age, they get you know, books that are you know, picture books, mm -hmm. you know, more words. And then as they get closer to the age of five, they get these very high quality books mm. with great pictures and more words. And you know, the interesting thing is all these books have a story to them. Mm -hmm. And it's helpful for the families as they, they mm -hmm. share these books together and they look at the words, they look at the mm -hmm. pictures, Things they can do is they can make associations as they're looking at the they book. They can connect with the stories in the Absolutely. book. Absolutely, mm -hmm. or the characters in the mm -hmm. story. You know, if there's a mm -hmm. character that has a red hat, they can talk to the child about, oh, what color hat do you mm -hmm. have? Do you have a red hat? Mm -hmm. And those are things that just really encourage more talking because mm -hmm. words are so important to building that baby's brain. Mm -hmm. When a baby is brain, they've got billions of neurons that are just looking to connect. And right. words are one thing that helps build those neurons that's going to help that baby's brain for the rest of their life. Right. And, and so, Bob, you, you know, as I'm listening to you speak, I'm thinking to myself, you're saying that a new book comes to a child's home, right to the home. Is that right? Absolutely. That, right that, to their home. That's huge. Yep. That's like literacy right at your doorstep. It is. It and is. so is every child under the age of five in the city of Cleveland able to sign up? Well, right now it's in various neighborhoods within okay. the city of Cleveland. Okay. There's a map that uh, is on the screen, but it's mm -hmm. some of the neighborhoods are Buckeye Shaker, Central, mm -hmm. Fairfax, Slavic Village, uh, Glenville, Huff, mm -hmm. and there's many others. And really our goal is to get every neighborhood in Cleveland okay. uh, so that every child, there's 25,000 children under the age of five in the city of Cleveland. Okay. Okay. Every one of them should be able to get these books. Okay. And you know, the cool thing about this is the book actually comes in the name of the child. Wow. So the child gets excited when the mail insane. carrier comes in or they go to that mailbox right. and get that brand new book. Right. It's their book. Right. I was going to say, you know how important children love to receive um, mail in Absolutely, their name. Yeah. And we might not as adults, but that's a big <laughs> deal for a child. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's wonderful. Yeah. So, well, for those who are part of this program, what have you heard from the families? How do they like you know, it? Um, First of all, this program is all over the country. It actually mm. was started by Dolly Parton, mm. the, the, the actress and, song and, and singer mm -hmm. um, in her hometown because she knew the importance of having books mm. in the home mm -hmm. and parents reading and talking with their children more often. Why did that resonate with her? Well, you know what, she, as a child, she had no books in her home because her mm. father wasn't a strong reader. Okay. So they had no books. Okay. Yet she knew through the research and brain mm -hmm. development that books are very important. important. So she started in her hometown of Tennessee just mailing books. Mm. Well, now it's in 1,600 communities across the country. Wow. And the evidence is so clear that families are reading more together when they're mm -hmm. getting these great books every month. Mm -hmm. Many communities are looking at kindergarten readiness mm -hmm. and finding that children are beginning school better Ready. prepared. And we've heard about the importance of third grade reading. Right. Some of those gains are still evident in third grade, that they're better readers in third grade. Mm. And this is really going to help that child throughout their entire that education and their life. That's right. But locally, we've been doing the program. We have about 7,000 families who are current children who are currently getting books in this area. Okay. About 2,000 of them live in the city of Cleveland right oh, now. Okay. And 78% of parents, when they responded to a survey we did, said mm -hmm. they are reading more with their children as a result of getting this book mm. every month. The 80% of them said their child is asking them to read together. Right. What a wonderful thing. The mm -hmm. child is coming to the parent to say, mommy, daddy, let's read together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And of course, once the child develops that love of reading, right. one book a month's not enough. Right. So they're going to the library, which right. is exactly what we want. We, we know we do. want families going to the library right. because there's so many services. Mm -hmm. So this book, so this program is doing what Dolly Parton wanted to do. Mm -hmm. Children begin to love reading, mm -hmm. they love books, mm -hmm. and they're going to the library more right. often. It, it, I almost, I think of the name Imagination Library. Imagine that you had a library yeah. in your home. That's exactly and right. we're actually bringing that to fruition, to reality, 
through the Reach Out and Read and the Imagination right. Library program. So, you know, we have some viewers watching this today that work with young children in daycare and preschools. Um, how can the families get signed up and who can they contact for more information? It's really easy to sign up. Uh, mm -hmm. Go to our website, literacycooperative.org, mm -hmm. and an enrollment, for, uh, uh, an enrollment form will pop up. You really, and it's very simple, mm -hmm. name, address, the name of the child, the birth date of the child, mm -hmm. and an email. We ask for an email, which is interesting because then we use that email to also send information to the family about other activities oh, and good. educational things that are mm -hmm. happening in their community. So that first thing to do, go to the website. Mm -hmm. It's free. Yeah. Get families to sign up. Okay. So what if I move? You know what? Um, on, the, on the mailing label, mm. It has our phone number. It says okay, if you are great. moving, call. Okay. And we get calls quite frequently wow. because families, parents want to keep getting they, this book right. because some have reported to us that the day the book comes is the best, best day of the month in their, wow. in their household. That is huge. It is so important. And children love the getting these books and the parents love getting the books. So mm -hmm. if they move, they let us know the new address and we can get it into the system and they'll keep getting the books. Great. Well, I think that these two programs, and we have uh, evidence from our families that these programs are very successful. So I want to thank both of you, Lynn Foran and Bob Pepinetti, for enlightening our viewers about Reach Out and Read mm -hmm. and Imagination Library. Thank you, Monica. Thank you, Monica. I want to thank our viewers for tuning in today. We need you to sign up for these very successful programs, Reach Out and Read and Imagination Library, and stay tuned for other literacy programs in our city.